Hey, people. So I've been kind of, well, not kind of, I am interested in the Summer Wells case. I don't know even near enough on how to even call him talking about it. I mean, I know, en okay, I know enough, but not enough enough, if that makes sense. There's a lot. Also, I wanted to watch this new stream here, and it's about Rose Lie, which would be Candace's sister, which is Grandis's daughter. What well, says here, 10 years later, Polk County revitalizes investigation into missing women. Exactly 10 years ago this week, a young mother named Rose Bly disappeared under mysterious circumstances in Western Wisconsin. Okay, I'm going to make this big and I want to watch it. I haven't seen it. I just thought, you know, I want to see it. On August 21st, 2009, Rose Bly left her rural Polk County home to visit a cousin. Right. Family ever saw her. The family's hurting. You know, that's why we're here today. First year Sheriff Brett Walk is making Bly's case a priority at the 10 year mark. Investigators have already interviewed 150 people and handled 200 tips. Our focus now is to shift and try something new. That includes releasing an age progression photo of what Bly would look like now at 31. And then there's this video. And it's just, it's horrible. It's hard to deal with. Very hard to deal with. The sheriff's office interviewed Bly's mother in a short video distributed to followers on social media. It's not a good feeling. It's just, I wish I could where she was. We hope people share the story. We hope people start talking again about this. We want this to be in the forefront of what's going on. The sheriff's office has never identified any suspects or any possible motive, but there was one early clue. Just days after she went missing, police found Bly's car here in this public parking lot in Grantsburg about 30 miles north of where she lived. But still, there was no sign of Bly herself. Investigators at least recovered evidence and DNA from the car in Grantsburg. That town still remembers the case. It's in the back of people's minds. Megan Schauenberger was only a few years younger than Bly when she disappeared and wants to see this case solved. It mean a lot, especially for this town. This town itself has been through a lot, but her family. Bly's children have never known their mother. This mystery Aww. is solvable. We just need to get that vital piece of information. Danny Spiewak, Carolina News. That is sad, because she does have children. Okay, I'm going to read this. So this came out August 23rd, 2019. I'm going to read this as well. I just, I find it very, very... Uh, I want to say strange and mysterious, but also really freaking scary. Summer's missing. She's been missing since June 15th, 2021. Okay. She's been gone six months. Here I find out her Aunt Rose is also missing. That's insane. Oh, and to top that off, Candace's oldest daughter. Yeah, she also had another daughter, not just Summer. She went missing too. I almost crapped my pants. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Thank God she was found and she's, she's, <laughs> she has a better life. Can you imagine? That's three people. One was found. I, I'm just mind blown. All right. Polk County, Wisconsin, exactly a decade ago this month, a 21-year-old mother of two small children left her home in rural Polk County near, I don't even know how to pronounce that, so I'm sorry. We'll go St. Paul's, okay? to visit a cousin a few miles away. It was the last time her family ever saw Rose Marie Bly. 10 years later, after 200 tips and interviews with 150 people, the Polk County Sheriff's Office has now decided to take a new approach to generate new leads. The family is hurting, Sheriff Brent Wack said at a news conference on Friday to update the public at the 10 year mark. That's why we're here today. In addition to releasing an age progression photo of Bly, who would now be 31, the sheriff's office also produced a short video to distribute on social media. The video features interviews with Bly's mom, as well as the sheriff himself, to remind the public of what happened in August of 2009. With advances in social media, the sheriff's offices hope the case can be can expand its reach. 
we want people to start sharing the story. We want people to start talking about it again. Wax said, we want it to be on the forefront of people's minds. Investigators have never publicly identified a suspect or any suggestive motive, but they did receive an early clue. Just days after she went missing, Bly's car was found about 30 miles north of her home in Grantsburg. Investigators gathered evidence and DNA from the scene, but there was still no trace of Bly. Okay, so they do have evidence and DNA. Huh. The small community of Brandsburg hasn't forgotten about the case and they want to see it solved. It'd mean a lot, especially for this town, which has been through a lot, Megan Scallenberger said, and for her family, it would mean a lot. Bly's children, who were ages two and one at the time of her disappearance, have never known their mother. The mystery is solvable, Sheriff said, we just need to find the vital piece of information. So anyone with any information on this case, here's the tip line number, 715-485-8300. This is just... Here's another one. I'm going to read this one too. Same sheriff met with members of the media August 23rd to release photos and a video in hopes of breathing new life into the missing person's case of Rosemary Bly. I'm not sure if there's anything different, but I'm going to read it anyways. I don't really like the name cold case as I think it implies we have pushed it off to the side and as law enforcement, we never give up. We never quit searching for the answers, said Polk County Sheriff Brent Walk during a press conference last week regarding the 2009 disappearance of Rosemary Bly. Last week marked 10 years since the disappearance of Bly, who was 21-year-old mother of two. August 21st, 2009, Bly left her residence in rural St. Crew, Crew, I don't know how to say that, St. Paul's, destined for Cushing, a six-mile drive to the east, and she has never been seen since. Later in her 2001 Pontiac Grand Am was unexplainably found in Grantsburg. Grantsburg police found her car in the municipal lot west of the post office in downtown Grantsburg. A few weeks after the car was found in Village and Memory Lake, after, sorry, a few weeks after the car was found, the village had Memory Lake drained. Oh, wow. It is approximately a five minute walk from where Bly's car was found to the lake. We wanted to eliminate the possibility of her being in the lake, former Grantsburg Chief of Police Jeff Shinzing told the Centennial in 2009. There's been extensive searching. There has been a lot of effort to find Rose. Is it? It is always in the back of every officer's mind. Where is Rose Bly? Because the mystery is solvable, said Wack, who was a Polk County Patrol Sergeant when Bly went missing. Her mother has not seen her in 10 years. Our community wants these questions answered. Since 2009, we have handled over 200 tips on this case and we have interviewed over 150 people. The Polk County Sheriff's Department has decided to focus on technology to push Bly's case out to the open. Walk said, we really feel our strongest chance to bring closure to this is to reach out to the public. We need someone to come forward with that critical piece of information. The department has produced a video they have shared with the media and posted to their Facebook page. Our hope is that we can simulate some talk in the social media avenue, as well as just get our message out to the community that we are still looking for answers in the mystery of the disappearance of Rosemary Bly. With changes in social media during the 10 years since Bly's disappearance, the department is hopeful the way technology has evolved will provide a farther reach by stimulating conversation, Mock said. We are connected since we are a connected society now. We want people to share the video, share the story, and start talking yet about this. During just the just under five minute video, Bly's mother Candace Hare shares the pain she has experienced during the past decade. It's horrible, it's hard to deal with. My life will never be normal without knowing where my daughter is. With a missing child, there's a hole in your heart that cannot be filled, said Hare. We really want to know people, show people that our community is hurting with the loss of Rose Bly. We have a family that is hurting from the loss of Rosemary Bly. We want to put conclusion to the case. We are hoping by releasing this video, we can gain some more information. Somebody out there knows something and they can come forward and help us bring this mystery to a close, said Black. Included as part of the video, an age enhanced photo has been released. If Rose is out there, we believe this is what she could look like. Our hope is Rose Bly could come home knock on the door and say, mom, I'm home. We have looked at a lot of angles on this. Our focus at this time is to shift and try something new. Somebody knows where she's going, what happened and where she is, said Wack. Making a final plea towards the video's end, Hera expressed tears as constant when struggling 
Hera expressed tears. Yeah, are constant when struggling with not knowing what happened to her young daughter, she said. Rosie, if you're out there, I still have the same number. If you have any information on the disappearance or whereabouts of Rosemary Blythe, please contact the Pope County Sheriff's Office tip line 715-485-8300. Jeez. Isn't that crazy? She's still... <sighs> Where the hell is she? That's just insane to me that she's missing too. And she went missing in 2009. Now, I've heard on other channels on um, from other YouTubers that her children, Rosemary Bly's children, are actually saying mommy is buried in the driveway. Yeah. Isn't that sick? Mommy is buried in the driveway. And as far as I know of, the driveway has never been uh, checked. And this was in, this is where the mother used to live, I believe. Don't quote me on that. It could be wrong. But their mother apparently is buried in the driveway. And they think Don Wells had something to do with it. <laughs> it's so much of a story between, between Rose and with Summer Wells missing. Um, I hate to say it, but I do not believe that Summer is alive anymore. I really don't. Um, I think that she drowned at the lake is what I believe. I believe she drowned because Candace and that 15-year-old teen teenager, I'll just say H, they were too busy drinking and doing God knows what, not paying attention to Summer, and I believe it was an accident, and I believe she drowned. And I also believe... I hope I'm wrong, but I also believe that picture she took of Summer on the milk jugs in the back of that car, she wasn't alive. It was almost like a, I don't know what to say, but that's my belief. I believe she drowned and I believe it was an accident and Candace can't deal with that or she maybe thinks she's going to get in trouble or maybe she hasn't even told Dawn um, exactly what happened. I don't know. I was watching Molly go lately and there is a, she said I could use it. There's a phone call made between Molly go lightly and Don Wells. And he says, he stated on this phone call while she was live that he's got seven alibis and Candace has none. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Those people, they, I, I'm really upset about it because they, uh, there's so much going on with them um, illegally that the police do have enough to put them away. Don's DUI recently, uh, the drugs they're doing, they're hanging out with felons. Like they could be put in jail right now if the cops wanted to. And the th I'm wondering why they're not. Um, from what I understand, the sheriff there is actually a step brother. Sorry, not step, a brother-in-law to Don Wells. That would explain a lot, wouldn't it? Disgusting. I just wanted to share this. I mean, I can get into the Summer Wells case. I have been following. Um, it's a lot, though. It's really sad. I just want her found. On August 21st, 2009, Rose Bly left her rural Polk County home to visit... Sorry, I don't know what was doing there. Oh my God. Endangered, missing. She's female, white. She's born in 87. She's 21 years old. It's just a little thing. She's wearing a white top, tank top. It's a cousin in nearby Cushing, Wisconsin. It was Light brown hair, brown eyes. Bly has a tattoo of red cherries. There's the cherries right there on the outside of her right ankle. A photo of the tattoo is posted with this case summary. Her ears and navel are pierced. She frequently changes the length and style of her hair. At the time of her disappearance, her hair was cut in a chin length bob. She may also color her hair blonde or red. All right, so that's what she looked like. She kind of looks like your sister Candace, there, right? That's what she looked like, and that's what they think she may look like now. And she'd be 32. This is insane. I think I pretty much... <sighs> it's 
seems like every article adds some and then always adds something new. This one says, Bly's car was found in a parking lot near a post office in Grantsburg, Wisconsin, five days after a disappearance. The lot is normally used by semi-truck drivers to park their tractor trailers. The car was undamaged. There was no evidence of foul play and the keys were missing. Yeah, see the other articles didn't say that. Grantsburg is about 30 miles from St. whatever the heck that word is and 15 miles from Cushing. Why is family living there? And she graduated from Grantsburg High School. So I didn't even know she graduated. So I was going to read it because they're all different. Bly left behind a husband and two daughters under the age of two. She doesn't have any credit or debit cards. Really? And she left home with very little money. Bly's husband filed for divorce three weeks after her disappearance and sought a court order to prevent her from returning and taking the children. Holy frig, really? They had married in February of 2000. So, okay, they just got married in February. Well, that's suspicious. <laughs> they married in February. He's already filed for divorce by August. And then gets a court order for the children. Oh my God. The relationship was troubled and police were called to the home at least once to intervene in a domestic violence incident. Lai's husband accused her of slapping him. She accused her of putting, and she accused her of putting her in a headlock and banging her head on the ground. He had previously filed for divorce in June. Holy frig but withdrew the filing after he and Bly reconciled. Bly's husband passed polygraph and isn't considered a suspect in her disappearance. His divorce petition was granted in 2010 and he has sole custody of their daughters. Bly fell off a horse a week before her disappearance. She told her mother she was having headaches after the accident and her mother advised her to see a doctor, but there's no evidence she ever did. Bly's mother speculated her daughter became disoriented due to her injury and wandered away. There's no evidence to support any theory. However, Bly's case remains unsolved. That is crazy. So now, see what I mean? There's like every, something added to every damn article. Holy frig. Wow. I don't know. What do you guys think of this mess? If anybody knows anything that I don't know that I've just read you or that I've just told you, comment, please. Um... Also, let me know if you want me to go through the Southern Walls case. Oh, actually, this I read today. Apparently, there was remains found, and it wasn't Rose Bly, and they don't... People are saying it's summer, okay? They're saying it's summer. The thing is, is that there, there is absolutely human remains found, but they have not said if it's from a child or an adult, so we don't know. They're literally just keeping us guessing. Yeah, we don't know. I don't know. I hope if Summer passed on that it is her remains and they could just close the case. Not close it, but, you know, put her to rest. Like, enough already. But there is remains found. I'm almost half tempted to call the station myself and be like, look, can you at least tell me if it's, you know, um, like, uh, a toddler or if it's an adult, a child or an adult. Just tell me that. And at least I know that. Because then, you know what I mean? I don't like the guessing or the waiting or anything like that. I don't know if they could tell me that, but you know what? I might just call and ask them. Maybe they could say that. Maybe. They don't tell me who it is. Just tell me if it's a child or if it's not all. And I can let everybody else on YouTube know and tell them to stop freaking speculating because it's getting irritating. People are all over saying, oh my God, Summer was found, Summer was found. Like, you don't know that. You don't know that. I might just call all right, I'll shut up. Anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this little, not enjoyed it, but thanks for listening to me while I went over this. It's just mind boggling to me. I, three people that went missing, three people. Okay. They're all related. The aunt and now the niece of her, the daughter of Candace and the daughter of the older Candace, the grandmother missing. And then Candace's older daughter went missing and yet she was finally found alive living a better life. I'm hoping that's crazy. Three people that does, there's something wrong there. Something very, 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 very wrong there. All right. I'll see you guys in the comments. Have a good night.